Talk about your leadership philosophy at NYSE. I find it pretty simple. Uh, our basic philosophy when we got to the NYSE was to leave it better than we found it. And what we say to the employee base to build the culture is it's really simple. Just come in every day uh, ready to pay it forward, ready to leave it better than you found it. And if you lead by example, personally and professionally, um, it's not that hard. What is the most powerful aspect of CECP? Uh, I do have the privilege of sitting on the board of CECP now, and what I find the most powerful aspect is, is, is really twofold. One is to share best practices. You can learn a lot from the other people in the room about what they're doing, how they're paying it forward, what, wh where they're getting more employee engagement to make a difference in the community, so I find that really valuable. The second thing I find really valuable, we're entering an age of collaboration. So I, I only half kidding said to the CECP leadership team here, I think we should change the, na the name to Corporations Encouraging Collaborative Philanthropy because I think the future is all about corporations working together. We're all trying to solve similar, if not you know, the same problems or at least adjacent problems. Let's collaborate. Let's work together. We can make a big difference. What is it about a Fortune 500 CEO that puts them in a unique position to impact the most pressing problems in our world. The number of people that those companies employ around the world, I think it's, it's pretty obvious that if we could find more ways to work together uh, collectively, we can really have quite an impact not only on the economy but on society. CEO should stand for Chief Effuser of Optimism. We are meant to be optimistic. We're meant to look at a situation and leave it better than we found it.